Hello, I am Max, and welcome to Learn the Washboard, episode 16. Today we're going to take another step closer to understanding and exploring Latin rhythms. Get into some samba, some exercises we should go over. Uh, if you got any questions about anything you've seen, leave it below in the comments. And be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, click that like button, let's help trick that YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure you go ahead and do that now so you know all, all the videos I have coming up. I try to answer every question. It gives me an idea of what videos you'd like to see coming up too. Uh, so leave that all down below. Let's get into it. I am not an expert on, on Latin rhythms at all. I am really not an expert on, on anything. But I, but I love this stuff. And I think even if you're not going to be playing in a, in a Latin percussion ensemble, taking bits and pieces of this and putting it into your playing, whether you're in a, a punk band or whether you're in a folk band or a bluegrass band or a blues band, a jazz band, knowing how to play all these different elements will just add more, more flavor to your cooking. Uh, you get a tastier, a tastier meal going. Well, that being said, today we have the kick drum set up, and we'll go over the bass drum pattern. We did it in the last video, Latin basics. Boom, 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 like a heartbeat. Two, 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 one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. But we're going to put that on our foot. Let's give that a try now, just the bass drum. You ready? One, two. Three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, it's so nice, right? Now our right hand, uh, we'll just play eighth notes. Da, 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 da. Maybe on the wood. You could do it on the board like maracas with a down up. Maybe we'll try that. A, a down up, a sort of maraca. And then we'll put the foot in. You ready? One, two, three, four. Ah, it already sounds like you're on the, the beaches in Brazil. A lot of the stuff we're gonna play again is from is from Brazil, as all these different people from all over the world came together. You had Portuguese folk music, you had some Spanish folk music, you had some indigenous music, you had uh, Africans, especially Angolan rhythms, all mixing together and creating, creating all these different sounds. We're gonna go over in, in the, next, the next few videos. This is truly uh, a global, a global sound. And we're already getting there. Let's put our left hand into this though as an accent. Let's just put it as like a standard rock accent on the, the two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm. Ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. But we'll do the on the wood. One and two and three and four and, and we'll do our little kick drum. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. We'll try to mix it all together and get a feel for just uh, your, your most basic, basic elemental sort of Latin groove. Almost there, nothing fancy, nothing to, to, to break your brain about. Let's give it a try. One, two, we'll do it real slow. One, two, three, four. Just that bass drum pattern gives it a, because at the end of the bar, it's not resolved. It's the and, one. It, you need the next measure to keep it going. So it, it pulls you along. And lots of rock music, it's one and two and three and four and one, like this. Like your arena rock, which is great for a million things. But if you got a lot of stuff like that going on, uh, in your set list, in your album, you're looking for something just a little bit different. Just mix that bass pattern up. Or 
in a song, you can put that in a, in a bridge, switch it to the chorus, maybe it gives that little Give it that, give it that spice. Now, before we get any deeper into sambas, bossa novas, that type of thing, I've come up with two exercises that really helped me as I was learning. I, I still play them all the time now because your accents are going to rotate throughout. Most of these are two bar measures and it can be sort of tricky if it's on the downbeat, if it's on the upbeat, if your brain hasn't done it before, your limbs get confused, the accents for me, they're with my left hand, my off hand can be, uh, can be a little overwhelming. So I think we'll finish today by going over these two uh, basic exercises. We'll, we'll do them on their own, we'll try to put them together and then we'll try to bring it up to speed. But you take your left hand accent and you play all downbeats. One, two, three, four. And you play quarter notes on your right hand. So your right hand's playing two notes for every one hand your left is playing. And your foot, boom, 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 boom. Let's try it all together. One, two, three. That's so great. Uh, you could do that. It goes, maybe that's your verse, that's your chorus. Just a nice change of pace sort of rhythm. Uh, it, like I said, it mix up the set list a little bit. Now we can change it, flip it on its head again, and instead of playing the downbeats, you play the upbeats. One, and two, and three, and four. Like it's a quick uh, country music song or like a, a punk song, or like a folk, like a stomp and holler song. But that one, and two, and that upbeat, but then with our Latin bass drum rhythm. You ready? We'll do it really slow. One, and two, and three, and four, and We're getting there. So now if you take that first exercise when you're playing the downbeats on the accent and the second exercise where you're playing the upbeats on the accent, you realize where the accent fits in with your foot. Uh, I'm a, a painter uh, by, by profession, landscapes and that type of thing. And when I'm working on a picture, it's really important every once in a while that you step back from what you're doing take a big look at the whole thing and realize how it all fits together. I think music is the exact same way. Sometimes when you're playing, it seems so dumb to say it, but you don't really listen to what's actually happening and think about how the totality of it fits together. So on the downbeat exercise, second bass drum that's where it lines up with your left hand and that's all three of them hit at the same time on the downbeat now on the upbeat your accent's going to hit on that first bass drum That's really important because as we get into the, like I said, the sambas and the bossa novas, you're going to mix up where the downbeats are, where the upbeats are. It's all going to change through the pattern. 
So you're going to have to really understand the points where it locks together. Because as the drummer, you got to be real connected because everybody in the, else in the band is listening to you. You're the heartbeat. You're the, the pulse that everything else uh, spins around it. All the emotion and the guitar solos and the singer and the bass moving it along. It all comes back to, to your rhythm. So if you're not connected to yourself, nobody's going to be connected to you, to you either. We're going to try to put these two exercises together. The downbeat exercise and the upbeat exercise. Let's do two bars of the downbeat and then two bars of the upbeat. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, like that, and we flip it to the upbeat. We'll do it really slow uh, and, and see what happens. Uh, try to play along. One, two, three, four. Well, there, you get the idea that let's just try the downbeat exercise, but uh, a little bit up to speed. One, two, three, four. And the upbeat. All right. Well, that's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Like I said, any questions at all, leave it down below in the comments feed. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you know anybody that likes the washboard or, or Latin music or is in a band, acoustic music, make sure to share this video. Uh, let's get the word out there. Free washboard, free washboard drum lessons uh, right here on YouTube. Uh, signing off. I'm Max, so I'll play out with a little something. One, two, three, four. Bye.